name, sir? What do you need my name for? What's I'm asking you for? That's not right. I don't answer any questions. Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a drunk cup, a cup who barks like a dog and many others. I'm not kidding and if you want to support my videos, I will be very grateful to you. Above, I'm broadcasting everyone who has helped me. Thank you and let's get started. The reason I'm pulling you over is because you got a brake light out. I know. We've been working on fixing it and it's not a fuse and we tried a bulb and it worked for a minute and then stopped again. So we're trying going to try the socket next. It just started. Oh, do you have your license registration proof? I have my yet. picture. I don't have my wallet on me, but I okay. have my picture. Is this your vehicle? Yes, it is. Okay. Can I give you the picture of my insurance and stuff? Oh, uh, yeah. You can show me the okay. picture of it. Okay. I have it all on one. What's your name, sir? What do you need my name for? What's I'm asking you for? That's not right. I don't answer any don't questions. So. Oh, that's very suspicious. It doesn't matter. That's it's funny, not isn't it? suspicious. It's the law. It is yeah, the law. He seems kind of nervous. No, he's not. He just got off work and all muscles. I'm shaky. What are you shaking about? I have tremors. Why do you need another well, unit? Well, he's acting real nervous. Don't want to identify himself. So I'm making sure I have a unit up here to watch him so he doesn't try anything stupid. Okay. It's, you don't understand. I'm a cop. No, I, I, people I do. People don't do that. They I got do something that they're trying to hide. I mean, so that's why I'm. Um, even if people don't do it, it's legal. I, we start with a fairly innocuous but still negativity inducing video. This man was just traveling as a passenger and exercised his right not to answer questions. As a result, he was detained and checked even though there was no reason to do so. Hello, how are we today? I can't see you. What's up, dude? What's your name? Who are you? you look oh, I know you. Yeah. I'm just down here. I was just giving him rides since he can't drive. I was bringing him home from work. Fair enough. You're just exercising your rights then? Yes, That's sir. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's not a big deal. I mean, you're not driving, so it's just I'm a driving. issue. You I got insurance. Care of. Working on it. Okay. So are you a real cop? They just didn't give you a badge yet or what? We got one, see? That's not, that's, hold on, that's embroidered. Yeah. That's what we're going to now. Are you really? But you don't you have to display your NAP badge number? No, if they ask, we have to tell them. But I asked you it. your name. So, okay, he might have warrants. We're checking right now. Because you get him taken care of. Uh, I'm supposed to be calling the lawyer right now, but okay. you're kind of... My job. Am I allowed to turn the car back on for the air conditioning? I'm very hot. The only way that car comes back on is he, if he's out of this vehicle. Last time I let people do that to take off. Oh, I know. That's why I asked and didn't just do it. Yeah, but... I appreciate that. I go check with the warrants. If he has warrants, obviously we're going to have to take care I'm not sitting that, but... here for an hour again, dude. Yeah, the last time it was ridiculous, too. It's more ridiculous because I'm driving and it's my car and my car is almost legal. Right. I mean, it's got a taillight out, which happens to people. The video cuts off at this point, but one of the cops didn't even have a badge, even though he thinks he can teach someone about law enforcement. And we move on to a story where a cop went to work drunk. The incident took place February 17th when officers responded to the scene of a shooting. You got this, son? One of the officers on the scene was Flat Rock Sergeant Brian Tetro, the department's K-9 officer, who was called to the scene while he was off-duty at home. Just after 6 p.m., Tetro is seen on police body cam video stepping out of his black police SUV. At the time he pulled up, the alleged shooter was still missing. Shots fired into two different houses. Van crashed into a shed. Police were told that after the shooting, the five suspects fled, and officers arriving on the scene were unable to locate them. From the beginning, you can see signs that the sergeant was not himself. Two people on foot ran into the woods. As one officer brings the sergeant to up speed on the case, Tetro is seen adjusting his shoes. In the middle of February, with temperatures in the 20s, Tetro arrived to the crime scene wearing Crocs. Then we realized wearing Crocs until I left the house. Do you realize how dangerous this could be? A drunk cop driving a car and carrying a gun. I think uh, the lack of injuries in this story is a miracle. Quickly, the sergeant and his K-9 begin the search for suspects, first along the tree line and then deeper into the subdivision. Minutes later, Tetro focuses his attention inside a crawl space under one of the homes. Anybody inside this building, you're gonna get back! Seconds later, the sergeant pulled out his firearm and aimed it into the crawl space, but no one was inside. Tetro can then be seen struggling to put his gun back in its holster. <laughs> An internal police investigation would later say Tetro had the odor of intoxicants on his breath, that he reported for duty under the influence and appeared intoxicated. 
He admitted to consuming alcohol earlier in the afternoon. Initially, Flat Rock officials refused to reveal the investigation at all, denying a public records, but when journalists appealed to Flat Rock's mayor, his office turned over a redacted copy of the probe with entire sections blacked out. That included an email sent to the city's mayor and police chief by a resident who had witnessed Tetro's behavior. It's not for me to judge anyone and we are all human. We all have a drink and even someone can uh, come to work afterward and no one will notice. But this cop was so drunk that he threw up on the job. That kind of behavior is impossible to justify in my opinion. The city blacked out part of the email, but journalists obtained an unredacted copy revealing that the woman said, Tetro vomited twice before stumbling after another officer, adding that he looked like he was drunk. That moment appears to be caught on body camera, though the city blurred the video, claiming it was exempt from disclosure. A suspect would later be apprehended. No one was hurt as a result of the sergeant's conduct. In a memo, Flat Rock Police Chief Jerry Page called Tetro's behavior the very definition of conduct unbecoming of an officer. But even though Tetro had the odor of alcohol on his breath, there is no record he was ever tested with a breathalyzer. While it is a crime to drive a vehicle while intoxicated and to carry a firearm while under the influence, no warrant was submitted to the Wayne County prosecutor, and Tetro was never charged with a crime. He was suspended for seven days. And the next video doesn't have cops in it. There are real criminals who attacked an elderly man, and you're gonna ask me why am I showing this? Let's watch it, and I'll explain. In broad daylight, in a city with hundreds of cameras, the criminals arrived by car. You can see buses passing behind them, and they still haven't been found. It upsets me when I see police lawlessness towards uh, the innocent, and when the cops are actually needed, they're inactive. <laughs> Friends, I don't want you to think that the situation is so bad, that there are no good cops and that I show only negative things. That's why now I will show cops who have brains and do their job well. As deputies in Washington state pursued a group of teens suspected of stealing a car last month, one deputy used an unusual tactic that tricked the suspects into surrendering. Chambers 
One deputy deployed stop sticks and waited for the stolen vehicle, which sustained four flat tires after running over the trap. The suspects, however, continued driving and deputies had to call off the pursuit. Unreadable again. Clear. Approaching the car. Approaching the car. These teenagers were chased by several cops with guns, but no one was hurt and no one even fired a shot. So it turns out that cops know how to turn on their brains and act reasonably. So why are they hiding this from us? The stolen car was found unoccupied and still running along Bridgeport Way. Deputies surrounded the area and began searching for the teens. There's a hole in the fence line here on the property. It's probably heading north through the parking lots, I'm guessing. And there's one unit north of me. I don't know who that is. I think that's Chris, maybe. They're down here. They're down here. Yeah, there's two down in the ravine right now. In a wooded area, one deputy spotted the group in a creek bed. According to body cam footage of the incident, one deputy can then be heard barking like a dog. Don't make us release our canine! Sometimes to get a positive result, you need to resort to non-trivial actions. And this video is a great proof that you don't have to shoot every suspect. But sometimes you just need to be smart. In the creek. Yeah, they're working their way south in the creek. It's like one male break fan. Female, blonde hair, red pants, black hoodie, black and orange backpack. Better stop! Over here. Hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Two more coming. That's the best stick deployment. You see me? I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pull him. <laughs> he was figuring out what to do. Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss. And anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the thanks button. This channel exists only because of you.